are you a small or a growing youtuber these particular apps that i'm going to be mentioning right now are what you're going to be needing to have a very seamless and easier journey on youtube i'm going to be showing you the apps and i'm also going to give you a very brief tour or guide of these particular apps now the very first app i'm going to be talking about is your dogo of them all and that is your youtube studio mm -hmm. this is your youtube studio this is your dashboard if you come here over to content this is where you have all your videos and if you also have shirts this is where you're going to see your shirts come over here to live if you've ever gone live you can see your live here if you have your playlists arranged you can see your playlist here next one is your analytics if it gives you inspiration for ideas what people are searching for you can see top searches how to grow on youtube blah blah, blah. i'm going to create a video on this one soon okay trending ideas for youtube videos then you can see um content gaps i already filmed a video on content gaps so if you don't know what they mean you can check because they're also going to help you then if you come over here to overview it's where it's going to show you your views your watch time subscribers that you've gotten in the last 28 days if you tap on this place it's going to show you your weekly recap your top top content your videos that are doing very well you're going to see in real time your videos that are doing very well then if you come over here to content right you're going to see your new viewers viewers from your videos from your shorts from live stream returning viewers you know subscribers that you got from videos from shorts from live stream views you're going to see published content those that are watching only videos those, those that watch both shorts and videos right now i can see that most of my viewers watch both right you're going to see your typical views you're going to see how viewers find you so come here, i'll show you something but let me show you this first if you look at your audience you this is where you see your returning subscribers unique viewers you know all of that then you're going to see if you already have this you're going to see when most of your viewers are on youtube this way you're going to see it okay demographic of your viewers right you're going to see everything here also now what i wanted to show you if we go over to content now let me just pick one of my videos right let me just pick this most recent one if you come over to this place here you're going to see your impression impressions click through rate if you tap on this small eye that is here it's going to youtube is going to tell you well and um, whether your video is doing very well you can see here well done people on youtube are choosing to watch this video more often than usual now i want to show you one of my videos that youtube actually commented something negative i don't know if it has changed it but let me click on that small eye uh -huh. so you can see here this video is reaching a wider audience on youtube leading to a lower click through rates wider audiences are often less likely to choose to watch a video but the ctr is not hurting this video's view count and since i saw that i've been trying to work on adjusting this right now the next app that you need as a small youtuber is your cap cut. please if you don't have cap cuts what do you have anyways cap cuts is going to help you with your video editing in fact you can even use cap cut for your thumbnails also but yeah basically it's for your video editing and trust me it is so easy to use let's get right in what's right this is the icon let's just tap on it you can tap on new project to create a new video let's just use this particular video and tap on add if you tap on add you can see here you have edit this is where you can edit your videos okay you can split adjust the speed add any animated if any animated effect there's a lot of features here that you can use this is your audio where you can add audio your sounds add sound effects you know record your own voice do anything you can come here to your text to add different things there's just a lot that you can do with this right now the next app i'm going to be talking about is your i think you can already tell canva canva the reason i love canva is because it has a lot of free templates a lot of free templates that you can use okay so you just see and then just edit the titles edit the background if you want edit the color then of course put your own picture there if you want your face to be seen and boom you have your thumbnail then if you have the canva pro version right you can also get stock images stock um, videos from this um canva pro if you are not subscribed to it yet go watch this video there's i thought how you can get it for free now the next app i'm going to be talking about is your binge now the thing is binge is if you've heard of chat gpt then 
it's somewhat related to binge now the reason i mentioned binge is because you can use binge to generate ideas for yourself to generate um, keywords for your videos you can even put um the the picture of your thumbnail there that's the reason i love using binge put your title also and then you can ask binge to help you check whether your title and your thumbnail um match up binge is actually a very good one that you can use as a small youtuber or even a big youtuber now the next thing i'm going to be talking about is your vid iq it's going to help you with your keywords and all of that and also help you to optimize your videos do you understand it's going to help you to also optimize your videos vid iq has a lot it has a lot there that you can use and it also has the free version you don't have to subscribe to the pro version before gaining access to some of these things but of course it's going to be better when you subscribe to a pro version of any app do you understand so that's that about data another app is tube body now the reason i use tube body is it also helps me with my tags okay it helps me to um get tags that are high ranking for my videos do you understand so tube body is actually also good and it also helps me to take note of my milestones okay of course it's good that you know your milestones for every milestone you cross at least you'll be getting some encouragement motivation and all of that the next and final one i'm going to be talking about is your google drive now the reason i mentioned google drive is so that you can use it to save some stock footages that you create of yourself probably you're doing something you want you just want stock footages you want pictures that you can be using for your thumbnails you know you can set a day aside to take all your pictures you know to take some footages videos and all of that and then you can save to your google drive so that it doesn't um disturb your space on your phone and then boom anytime you need it just download and use so those are the apps that i use or let me just say some of the apps but the basic apps that i use for my youtube um journey <laughs> like i said if you do not have the canva pro version and watch this particular video to get it do well to subscribe and like this video if you haven't done that yet do that right now mm -hmm. all right thank you bye i love you